Dear colleague, welcome to this lecture on the stereotactic arc. Before we continue, it is advisable that you pause for a moment and acquaint yourself with the different components of the stereotactic arc if you are not familiar with this. We start preparing the arc by making sure that the four screws of the axis supports are tightened. We then center the instrument holder at 90 degrees and lock it. Introduce the instrument guide holder into the instrument holder and the instrument stop holder into the instrument holder and lock it at 0 mm. Put the guide into the instrument guide holder and the stop in the instrument stop holder. Then introduce the radio frequency electrode and make sure that it runs smoothly. If it does not run smoothly, the lock screw of the instrument guide should be somewhat loosened. Rotate the radio frequency electrode while keeping its point against some object in order to make sure that it is straight. Then remove the electrode and withdraw the instrument guide holder to the instrument stop holder and lock it. Lock the rings of the coordinate setting axis and then open it half a turn. Rotate the inner ring with the dent so that the dent on the right side is about 25 mm anterior of the index mark and on the left side about 25 mm posterior of the index mark. Now set the X coordinate on the scale axis and lock, and do not confuse the X with the Y on the scale axis. Set the X coordinate on the counter scale axis and lock. Lock the counter scale and then open it half a turn. Finally, set the arc angle and lock. Then continue. Uh, with uh, the set coordinate on the arc supports and lock. Let us look at a short video. We start with making sure that the four screws of the axis supports are tightened. Introduce the instrument guide holder into the instrument holder and the instrument stop holder into the instrument holder and lock it at 0 mm. Put the guide in the instrument guide holder and the stop in the instrument stop holder. Introduce the radio frequency electrode and rotate it while keeping its point against some object in order to make sure that it is straight. Then remove the radio frequency electrode and withdraw the instrument guide holder to the instrument stop holder and lock it. Lock the rings of the coordinate setting axis and then open it half a turn and rotate the inner rings into position, as described above. Now set the x-coordinate on the scale axis and lock. Continue by setting the x-coordinate on the counter-scale axis. Lock the counter scale and then open it half a turn. Set the set coordinate on the arc supports.
and finally set the arc angle. Now, slide the arc support onto the frame and set the Y coordinate and lock. Repeat on the other side. The P of the arc support should be facing in the posterior direction as seen in this video, but it is possible to let it face in the anterior direction as well. Take the arc in your right hand and place the coordinate setting axis into the arc support on the right side. Hold it in place and support the arc with your right wrist. You can now move the arc with your wrist if necessary. Ask the nurse to press the ring of the coordinate setting axis firmly against the arc support with both hands. With your left hand, place the counter scale axis into the arc support on the left side. Place your left thumb on the short end of the counter scale axis and one finger on each side of the counter scale axis on the inner aspect of the arc. Press the counter scale axis into the arc support. Make sure that you are pressing straight forward and not at an angle. Slide your right hand along the arc and lock the counter scale axis. Move the arc to your pre-calculated ring setting and lock the rings. Make sure that there is no separation between the counter scale and the arc or between the two rings. Let us look at the video. Take the arc in your right hand and place the coordinate setting axis into the arc support on the right side. With your left hand, place the counter scale axis into the arc support on the left side. Press the counter scale axis into the arc support on the left side. Make sure that you are pressing straight forward and lock the counter scale axis. Move the arc to your pre-calculated ring setting and lock the rings. Make sure that there is no separation between the counter scale and the arc or between the two rings.